Let me just say quickly that COVID-19 has presented challenges to every sector of our economy. And as we have all learned in every challenge, we can look for the opportunities. The Ministry of Education has jumped at every opportunity to ensure that students are engaged as much as possible. It has done so through programs like Spice Math and Spice Sign. And this evening, we are here to launch an app for CSEC students, as mentioned. So we'll get right into it. We have some welcome remarks and a bit about the app from Mrs. Angela Finley, the Chief Education Officer. Emeline Kerr, Minister of Education, Human Resource Development, and Religious Affairs, and Information. Scathy and James, District Education Officer, District 3. Mr. Dushant Agwal, Chief Executive Officer for Tuna Picks. Mr. VL, Director of Content for Tuna Picks. Mr. Dominic Jeremiah, principal and uh, chair of the Secondary School Principals Association. Virtual audience, a pleasant good evening. This evening, we are gathered to witness the launch and live demonstration of an app which has been specially designed to support students in their preparation for CSEC examinations. What a significant occasion. Another milestone for the Ministry of Education and by extension, the teachers and students throughout the state of Grenada. At this time when we are focusing on the use of technology to create better learning opportunities for all students and also seeking to strategically support our Form 5 students to complete their preparation for CSEC 2020, we are delighted that Fortuna picks has seen it fit to engage Ministry of Education Grenada to pilot this wonderful exams preparation app. I have had the opportunity to explore the features that are being made available to teachers and students, and I'm nothing short of in trouble. I will say no more, but say to one and all, please wait to be wowed by what would be unveiled before our very eyes this afternoon. A warm welcome again to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Angela Finley, Chief Education Officer. And we go straight now into speaking with Ms. Kathian James. She will talk a bit about the e-learning experience. We'll move right ahead since, yes, so we move right ahead. We'll have some remarks now from the Honorable Emmeline Pay, Minister for Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs, and Information. Thank you very much, um, Leslie, Ann, and let me join by recognizing all those who have been mentioned, representatives from Fortuna Picks, uh, Mr. Jeremiah from the Principals Association, our Chief Education Officer, and all others who are joining this and will view this later on this evening. Sometime during this morning, the Ministry of Education took a very snap decision to conduct this live um, ceremony, very brief live ceremony this afternoon. And that was because we felt we did not want to wait until the new week to launch this app, because we felt that if we give students an opportunity Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, at least they would be far better prepared for the upcoming exams. And so this very brief ceremony is designed just to do that, to launch the app officially with a short demo so that students can immediately go into accessing this app. I want to express this afternoon appreciation to Fortuna Picks. When they were approached and we were in discussion um, as to how can they provide additional support to our students who are indeed disadvantaged at this time, 
as they would have missed so much of contact time with their teachers, the company decided that they were going to make this app available um, to all of our students in Grenada without any charges until the end of July. And so we are indeed extremely happy and grateful because we believe that this tool is going to go a long way in helping our students to prepare for the upcoming examinations. Um, when Mrs. Finley said that she was wowed, I, I have to take that to mean that it is an excellent tool. I myself had the opportunity to go through some of the features, and I believe that our students would be far better off because of this opportunity. And we want to encourage all those who are viewing and all those who will view the repeat of this launch that they would share this information with as many Form 5 students as they can over the um, this weekend, even before they get to school and they are officially informed at the school setting. We decided that we wanted to roll this from this weekend to get them engaged. Let me close off by just saying that the government of Grenada, during this period, our response to COVID-19 has invested many millions locally and invested millions also in education. A lot of millions of dollars have been spent during this period just on education. And I'm not speaking yet about health and all of the other areas, agriculture and so on. Millions have been spent just in the area of education. Most of you would be aware that during this period as a response to COVID-19, we launched an increased psychosocial program where we have been offering psychosocial support and counseling to our teachers and students. We launched our EMSTA platform where many of our students can go on from kindergarten as early as the preschool level can go on and find support online. We launch a number of programs such as the SPICE math program, giving students that opportunity to continue their studies on, online and of course using different platforms, television and so on. The SPICE sign program, we have supported teachers and students with data and cell phones to facilitate contact during this period. We launch a special program for parents. <clears throat> and that, par that program specifically encouraging and supporting parents in the e-learning scheme of things, which might be new territory for many of them. We have engaged hundreds of persons in the last week to prepare for students' return to school, and we continue to invest. This evening, I'm extremely happy that yet another opportunity we are providing for our students. And I just want to say a special thank you to all those who made it possible. Minister, thank you very much. That was the Honorable Emily Peer, Minister for Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information. So now we will go to a brief demonstration of the app by a representative from Fortuna Picks. So before before we, we, we start the demo, uh, uh, good evening, uh, Honorable uh, Emeline Peer, Minister for Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information, uh, Mr. Jeremiah, uh, Ms. Finlay, and all the other virtual uh, participants. Uh, this couldn't have been at a more appropriate time. We have the opportunity to use or leverage technology in order to ensure that the students are doing well in their exams. Uh, as, as an education company, uh, we continue to invest and make it possible for more and more students to use technology in their everyday learning. And the demo that you're, that you're about to see is for an app that's been prepared exclusively for the CSEC exams, keeping in mind that the students need both the practice as well as an environment in which they can do mock tests that exactly replicate the conditions of the exams as set by CXC. So my colleague is gonna take us quickly through the, through the demo, which is gonna last for maybe about seven minutes or so. At the end of which, if there are any questions, if there are any comments, we will be happy to, we will be happy to take them up. 
So, so VL, could you please uh, start the demo? Sure. Thank you, Dushant, and thank you, everybody, for the opportunity. Uh, we are at the home screen of the Learn Prep app, and uh, here you can register for the uh, account or log in with an existing account. I am already registered, so I'm going to quickly skip over to the registration portion. And here is the home screen uh, from the app. You can navigate through all the different subject cards and also some cards that give you helpful information on your performance so far. We will start with the practice test at the beginning. I'm going to start with principles of account. Here, as you can see, uh, this is a practice set of uh, five questions each and three sets, and there is no time limit here. Test is starting right now, and you can attempt to answer the questions. I did not get that right. And there's a hint pop up. Let me try and answer that without the hint. And I get a point for every time I answer the question. Here I got this right. And here, because I did not use a hint, there are two points. I got that wrong, but I'll try and use the hint this time around. hint was helpful, so maybe based on that, I'll try and answer the question. I got it right, and I get one point. Similarly, a student uh, goes through all the questions. And that's the completion of one set. And there are two more sets that are very similar to each, each of these. At the end of one set, you can retry a set or start the new set. Let's go ahead and start with the other sets. I'm going to skip over because the experience is very similar to the first set that we just completed. I'm nearing the completion of the three sets. And at the end of the third set, I get a detailed performance analytics. As you can see here, I have my accuracy score and also uh, the number of questions that I got right and a detailed analysis of how much time I took to answer each one of these questions. And also, how uh, I've scored against the various score skills. These score skills are aligned to the curriculum, uh, as the ship mentioned. Now that we've completed the experience on a practice test, let's skip over to the mock test. The mock test button is here. We've launched that. And let's go over to another principles of accounts test. I already have a grade here. I'm going to try and see if I can improve that. Let me stop the test. And here, this, unlike the practice test, is a time bound test. Uh, there are 60 questions that I have to answer all at one go. And like the Shint mentioned, uh, the conditions should be as similar to the final exam as such. So as part of the instructions, we instruct the students to use a non-programmable calculator because that allowed us for the final exam as well. Let me retake the test.
Uh, before I can answer the question, there's information that I need to know to answer the question. So that's this information. Let me read through that. And as I understood that, let me answer the question. Unlike the practice test, uh, as soon as I answer the question, I don't get to know if I was right or wrong. I'll get to know that once I submit the test. Let me skip ahead to some other questions. Uh, the time clock is right there at the button. I can navigate to all the different 60 questions that are there as part of the test uh, from uh, the drop down button at the top. Scroll across some of them. I can also bookmark questions from here. I'll show you that. You see a bookmark tag right there. Looks like this chat. Give me one second. I'm quickly speak, uh, skipping through all the questions. And as I submit, uh, there is a warning that shows that there are either bookmarked questions or skipped questions. I can click show all to see what all questions were skipped or bookmarked. I'm going to go ahead and submit. And as soon as I submit, I see this uh, detailed performance analysis that's going to come up right now. I was able to answer only two of the 60 questions right. My accuracy was only 3.3% and I spent a total of only two minutes, but as the actual test is of 90 minutes, my fastest response was five seconds and slowest was eight seconds. And I got two of 60 questions right, seven of 60 questions wrong, and I left about 51 questions unanswered. In the mock test, you can also see detailed analysis of all the questions and how you've performed against the profile dimensions for each of those questions. Like with the practice test, here also you get a sense of what core skills were tested for and how you performed against them. This helps me uh, focus my efforts on specific core skills and improve on them. And here I can actually see a couple of my past results. Now let's go back to the performance tab, which is here. And this is a global performance tab for all subjects and across all students on the app. I ranked 81st and I have earned about 48 points so far. I can see all my friends everybody who's on the app and how they fare. I can also see subject specific analysis. Um, this analysis is cumulative and um, similar to the report that we saw but across all the tests that I've attempted so far. Sorry. Now I'm on the more screen, which is allowing you to manage your profile and other parameters. When I've managed profile, I can change my avatar here, but that's pretty much all that we allow for modification right now, just so that our analytics are robust. And then there's also a manage subjects button. Here I have selected all the subjects, but students are likely to only select the subjects that they've enrolled for. See? So. 
on that is a quick overview of everything that the Learn Prep app has to offer. We hope the students use this and are able to leverage it to perform better on the final exams. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Viel. Uh, so some uh, some very important uh, components about about the app, right? Now the first important thing uh, that we have done in the app is the entire app is gamified. Now, if you observe all the students these days, they get inspired by the coins, the leaderboards. So what we have very consciously into the app is a strong uh, gaming behavior that uh, inspires students to perform better and better so that they could improve their scores, they could improve their coins, and ultimately they could be on the top of leaderboard, not only in individual subjects, but also across all the subject uh, subject areas. Another important thing about the app is typically when the students are trying to prepare for the exams, they get stuck at a question. And more often than not, they do not have assistance to understand how to answer that question. So by including a hint in every question of the practice, we ensure that we are not allowing the learning gap to remain open. Because every time a student is stuck, they could look at the hint and try to answer the question. If they don't get the question right, then there is a detailed solution that tells the student as to why they were not able to get that particular question as correct. Now, this sort of an automated immediate feedback helps students not lose interest or confidence as they prepare for their exams. And the very fact that there are endless number of questions that keep popping up, every time a, a student comes back to the app, they are likely to find newer questions. And the way the questions are, uh, are built is on the concept of uh, adaptive learning, which means that uh, on, on subsequent attempts, students are not likely to get those questions that they initially got right. So through adaptive learning, we are ensuring that the students are able to benefit as much as possible when they spend more and more time on the app. And now imagine from a teacher or a parent's point of view, there is no, uh, there is no uh, requirement to uh, to evaluate the question papers. There is no uh, requirement to provide feedback or to provide analysis. All that the app is taking care of, which means the the students, the parents, and the teachers could look at what are those learning areas where students need intervention or need remedies. And because in the performance we have very categorically mentioned what skills the students are doing well in and what skills they're not doing well in, it becomes that much more specific for anybody to create support learning material for a set of students. And we were very conscious while making the app that we wanted it to be mobile first because the general tendency is that the students are likely to have access to a mobile phone anytime more than a laptop or a tablet. So by making it mobile enabled, they could practice the, the they could practice on the app anytime, anywhere at, at their own comfort. And we are extremely confident that through the app, students will perform better than they would have otherwise done in their exams. That is really a very high level overview of, of, of the capabilities that the app provides and like Ms. Finlay and the Honorable Minister said, it is short, short likely to give a wow experience to the students whereby they will get better in their preparation for the CSEC exams. Thank you. The CSEC exam app, Learn Prep, and it is free for students in Grenada. Paper 1, final CSEC exams, all popular CSEC subjects, a robust question bank with over
20,000 questions, these are some of the features, ongoing practice with cumulative mock tests, instant feedback with insightful reports, performance analytics on scores, and gamified experience with rewards. So it's the CSEC exam app learn a prep thank you so much to everybody so we just as we mentioned it was going to be a very very brief um, um, ceremony just so that we can introduce the csec exam up to you so i want to say a special thank you to the honorable minister emmelyn pear who of course says we want to do everything we can to support our students to do better and we want to say thank you as well to Fortuna Picks for their commitment to education, making the app available to students with no charges until the end of July. So to Mr. Dushant Agawal and Mr. VL Nagaraj, we say thank you very much to you. We also say thank you to the Chief Education Officer, Mrs. Angela Finley, for her welcome remarks and all others involved in making this app a reality for students. So, of course, the poster for the app will be shared on the Ministry of Education's Facebook page as well as the GIS Facebook page. And during this period, students and teachers can provide feedback to their district officers at the school level. So students, of course, as Minister Pierre mentioned, millions of dollars have been invested in education at this time. Let us make the most of the opportunity that is being provided to us, even as we go through the challenges of COVID-19. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us. My name is Leslie Ann Johnson. Have a great weekend.